Welcome back to my channel for a short Leica episode. And yes, I'm saying Leica episode, although here you see my Hasselblad X2D currently with the XCD 2.5 55V mounted. And I'm currently working on some content for these two cameras, but I got irritated by the field of view of the Leica Q3 43. Something, at least in my opinion, is not adding up. And in this video, I wanna find out what it is. And of course, I will share my insights with you in this video. Let's kick this off. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, like my videos, and in this way, support my work. Many thanks. Okay. So this is the 43 millimeter Q3, of course, because that's what the video is about. But for the 28 millimeter Q3, people found out already some time ago that the images as they come out of camera have a wider field of view than what you typically expect from a 28 millimeter focal length lens. And my question is, is this maybe also true for the Aposumicron 43 millimeter Leica Q3? And uh, I was irritated by the field of view of this camera when comparing with the Hasselblad X2D and the 55V, because they should give or take produce kind of the same field of view, but the images of the Q343, they are definitely wider. That is for sure. I can see it with my naked eye. So in this video, I wanna do the following. I will shoot three other cameras and they all come with zoom lenses. And the reason is that 43 millimeter is not really something you find in a prime lens. You find 40 millimeter, maybe you find 45, but 43 millimeter, I'm personally not aware of a 43 millimeter lens which matches one of my camera systems. So what I'm going to do is I will take my Canon EOS R5 Mark II with the 24 to 105 millimeter lens. And uh, I see actually in the LCD what focal length I get when I zoom the zoom ring. So I will go into 43 millimeter, take a shot and uh, store it in Lightroom. Then I will take my Sony Alpha 1. Mounted here is the 24 to 70 millimeter G Master 2 f2.8. And also here I can find 43 millimeter and take the image. And then last but not least, I will do the same exercise with the Nikon C8 and the 24 to 70 f 2.8 s lens and here i have even an oled display where i can actually let me show you quickly if i switch this on here then you see here 24 millimeter and if i zoom now it shows me exactly when i reach the 43 here we go that's 43 millimeter simple like that and uh, i will take these three images as reference images and compare them with the same image from the Leica Q343. And uh, then I will see, you know, very easily putting them side by side in Lightroom, whether my impression, my gut feeling that these images have a larger field of view than they actually should have based on 43 millimeter is true or is not true. My subject for this shooting will be a Pac-Man Lego here in the background. I'm doing this in the studio here very quickly. And uh, the reason is that my beloved model Jennifer needs a break. And uh, I think today is Pac-Man day. And since this is built completely out of Lego, I think also it's pretty cool. And uh, I will do the shooting now, show you quickly the workflow. Then we go into Lightroom and then we come to conclusions. All right, here we go. This is the beginning of our hunt for the 43 millimeter focal length perspective and field of view. And I want to start with the Leica Q3 43. I've aligned everything. You see this in the image. This should all be in terms of straight lines, be pretty okay. And uh, I also make sure that the tripod is not moving. So we have always the same perspective here. What I also did is the tripod mount plate where it is mounted is exactly along this axis of the lens. And that's what I will make sure also for all the other cameras. So we really get comparable data points here. Let me get this open again and show you. Parameters for the shooting, very simple, f5.6, one over eight seconds, ISO is 100, and I wanna use a two second self timer. And I'm now going to fire the shot. 
All right, counting down, taking the shot, fine. That's it for the Leica Q3 43. Let's continue with the other three cameras. Next, I'm shooting my Sony Alpha 1 Mark II and uh, I've again aligned everything. Shooting parameters here, f5.6. Let's see that we go here to one over eight seconds and ISO is 100. And I also have the self timer activated for two seconds. So let's get this rolling. All right, that's it. We have another reference point for our comparison on the field of view of 43 millimeter compared to the Leica Q3 43. The next camera lens combo is my Canon EOS R5 Mark II and mounted is the standard zoom 24 to 105. I've used the zoom ring to match exactly 43 millimeter and uh, you can see this here on the display. And uh, I've also adjusted the camera on the tripod towards the Lego Pac-Man in the same way as before the Leica Q3. Self timer is two seconds, so I think we can take that shot. Parameters are one over eight seconds, f5.6, ISO is 100. I'm curious how this plays out when I look into all of this on my computer. The third camera I want to shoot for my testing is my Nikon C8 and uh, I have the 24 to 70 f2.8 S lens mounted. And here we have conveniently a display, an OLED display, and you see this is at 43 millimeter. Again, we have a self timer f5.6, one over eight seconds and ISO 100. Let's get the shot and then we're good to go. Counting down, a very silent shutter and that's it. All right, we have now three reference points to look into and compare with the field of view of the so-called 43 millimeter from the Leica Q3 43. This is the first out of three quick comparisons, left-hand side Leica Q3, right-hand side Sony Alpha 1 Mark II, and no post-processing, I didn't touch these images. You see in the third line of the metadata is full resolution on both cameras because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. And uh, of course I resisted the temptation on the Sony image on the right hand side to get the window line straight. And uh, if you look at that, pretty clear. The Leica Q3 image is wider. And uh, you see it if you go to the left hand side and crop in, see it's wider here, but it's also wider on the right hand side. If you look here, it is definitely wider. And uh, for the Sony, we can already conclude now either Sony is not completely right with the focal length in the way the image comes out of camera or Leica is not completely right. But in this first out of three comparisons, the field of view in the image coming out of the Leica Q3 43 definitely is wider. Here is the second comparison. Left hand side is Leica again, right hand side is Canon and it's again pretty clear. By the way, again, no post processing. Look at the third line in the metadata. The full resolution is displayed here on both images, so I didn't touch them, but it's pretty clear the field of view on the Leica Q3 image on the left hand side is wider than the one from Canon on the right hand side. Again, if we crop in, we see it crystal clear. It's wider here on the left bezel. It's also pretty wider on the right hand side bezel. So there's not much to discuss, right? Here's the third and last comparison. Left hand side, again, the Leica Q3 43. Right hand side, the Nikon C8. Again, watch the third line in the metadata, full resolution, not touching these images right out of camera. That's what you see here. And again, we find that the field of view of the Leica Q3 43 is wider. And I will not crop in this time because it's so crystal clear. What I tried next was using on the right hand side, the Nikon C8 with the zoom lens, playing with the zoom lens until I get a horizontal width matching with the Leica Q343. And that's about it. If you look at that here, if I click to the left hand side bezel, this is now about the same width and uh, on the right hand side, give or take also about the same width. And uh, that means that we get a match approximately at 40 millimeter with the Leica Q3 43 image. And if we go back and focus on the four images where we did the three comparisons. So here's the Leica, the Sony, the Nikon and the Canon, and they're all shot at 43 millimeter. Then it's not only about field of view. So do we see matching on the left hand side and the right hand side of the image and which image is wider and which is not. There are also structural differences in the way these lenses shoot the images. And you can see this pretty nicely if you look at how far away does the Pac-Man sculpture appear. And uh, the distance looks 
larger on the Leica Q3 43 than on any other image, and it's the closest for the Canon EOS R5 Mark II. And uh, the Sony and the Nikon, they are pretty consistent. So there are also optical things going on in the way these lenses are constructed that naturally lead to differences in the images, although maybe the field of view is perfectly matching. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say and show. The conclusion is clear. Maybe this lens has a 43 millimeter focal length, and I truly believe it, because why should Leica tell us a different focal length than what the true nature of this Aposumicron f2.0 really is? But the images coming out of the camera, they are wider by two to three millimeter. So we talk about a 40, 41 millimeter field of view of the images if they come out of camera in the raw format. And uh, that is for me interesting and also shows that my irritations when I worked on this content with the Q343 and the Hasselblad X2D, my irritations were not so wrong. So kind of we have the same phenomenon. I would have expected that this will not be the case for the Q343 because here it's already known that there is not a lot of distortion correction going on. 43 millimeter is exactly the diagonal of a full frame sensor, which is sitting here in this camera. So there should not be a lot of distortion going on, which needs to be corrected. But in fact, the images coming out of the camera, they are wider than they should be. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.